All right, now that we learned about mathematical operators in Python, we're going to talk about uh, the certain order that they run in. There's a default order that um, mathematical equations will run depending on its mathematical operator, and that's called operator precedence. Now, there's this, the um, default way it will run, and then in the next tutorial, we're going to talk about the manual, manual way to um, change that around so we can control how the equation runs. But in this one, we're going to talk about the standard way. So I'm going to go ahead and draw you a little uh, diagram here to help you better understand it. It's easier to draw a diagram than um, actually write code for you guys to understand it. So, all right, so we got three levels one, two, and three. The first one that's the first operator is going to run an equation before anything else is, called, is the exponent. So the two asterisks represents an exponent. So this one runs before any other one. Then on the second level we have multiplication, uh, true division, floor division, and modulo or remainder, however you want to refer to it. And then on the third level we have our last remaining two. We got plus for addition and minus for subtraction. All right. So what happens if we have a um, uh, two operators that are on the same level? Well, then it runs left to right. Whatever one comes first, left to right. That one's going to run first, and then the second one and the third one. So it's important to remember how these run because if you don't understand how the operators are going to run, then your equation is probably not going to work out properly. All right, so it's important to understand how they run. So remember, exponents always first, and then second is your multiplication, true division, floor division, and modulo or remainder. And then the third one and final one to run every time is the addition and subtraction. If you have any questions about how this works, please leave a comment on our form at mastercode.online. If not, we'll see you in the next one where we're going to manually adjust how this whole default operator presidents work. So I'll see you there.